we're here again with my mother, Tom Binkosi, about the second incident in Swaziland uh, during the demonstrations of Wire Wire. So, Mom, can you tell us where were you and what was happening in Swaziland? Now, during the Wire Wire teacher strike, we met at SNAT Center. SNAT Center. Uh, it's a, it's a, a head, snatch headquarters. Swaziland National Teachers Association. Yes, headquarters. Snat. We met there, and when we started marching towards town, just at the corner when we turned a truck with police approach and they quickly uh, came to us with the uh, riot gear yes they had to tear gas canisters i didn't run run away i stood there and they came and they pushed me when i fell down they threw the the the, the canister the canister the tear gas the tear gas I inhaled a lot of tear gas into my chest. Yeah. And they went for 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 the for the for the for the other people. As they moved, you know, they 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 they, they moved to town because the march they moved to town. I I decided oh they took me from there. To, to, to the gate, they're trying to apply first aid. There were, there were some faith, first aiders from the Red Cross. Okay. So they couldn't help me because I, I they tried the, the bruises on my hands and on my legs. That's all they did. So I moved to the corner of Green Valley. I tried to raise my, my son to take me to hospital. Before he, before he could arrive, three policemen driving a truck approached and they stopped just in front of me. And they asked me why, what I was doing there. I told them I was waiting for my son to take me to hospital. And they took, they took, they removed my scarf from my head. The head scarf? The head scarf. They removed my T-shirt and they threw that into the, the, the their truck. What what headscarf was that? An NLC, an NLC headscarf, an NLC T-shirt. One of the political parties in Swaziland. Yeah. An NLC. Yes. They took your scarf from your head. And my T-shirt. And your T-shirt. They threw it on, on in the in, truck inside the, their truck, and he started. He held me and pushed me to the wall. He was choking and he you. Banged my, 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 my head against the wall. And you came Choked to you. my neck. He strangled me, strangled me. Strangled you? Yeah, strangled me. Mm. And then he came for my breast. He squeezed my breast. Squeezed, squeezed your breast? My breast. Squeezed my breast. Please, from there, he started kicking me. They kicked me. I had broken ribs. Where, where were you then? On the floor or still standing? Yeah, I fell. You fell? I fell and they kicked me. Kicked me. Kicked you on your yeah. ribs? My legs, all over the body. All over the body? All with over. Still top boots? Yes. Kicking you? They kicked me all over the body. As if it was not enough. They dragged me now. They, they dragged, dragged you. me on the floor. On the floor? On to, the ground? On the ground. To the truck, mm. and here is the one who was helped me with my head face upside up down and my legs up. Yeah, and he took me by my legs and, and banged you, banged me against the car, against the, 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 the truck, the, the police truck. Yeah, the police truck. When he was doing that, a kumbi, a kumbi approached, came straight up to. Just next to, next to the truck. A taxi kumbi. A, yeah, a taxi kumbi. 
and they one of the guys said watch out because he was he was concentrating on hitting me on the truck yeah so they said to watch out when he said to watch the out, other police officers told the man who was baying you against the kumi yes, to watch out to watch out so when he put me down i jumped into the kumbi the kumbi yes yes and the man drove he ran with me Drove. Yeah, he drove away yeah. from the police he, officers. He put, he drove the Kumbi up, driver. Up to, up to, yes, up taxi to, driver. Yes, up to Mavuso. Drove away to Mavuso. Okay. At Mavuso, when he realized they were not following us, they were not following, he stopped and he wanted to know what wrong had I done to be assaulted by the police way. officers. And Royal I, Swazen police officers. Yes, I had blood all over, all over my pants. Mm. So he wanted to know. I told him the story. So he drove up to my place and, and, and dropped me at home. At your place? At in Fairview Manzin? My Fairview Manzin. Mm. They, 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 they took me to hospital. From was, your home? You went yes, to the hospital? I went to the hospital. Which hospital? Nazarene. Nazarene. Yes. Nazarene Hospital. Nazarene Hospital. That's the closest to your yes. home. Okay. They, they, I was admitted. You were admitted in the hospital. In the hospital. Nazarene Hospital. Yes. From the tear gas and the beatings. Yes. By the Swazan Royal Swazan Police. Yes. And then what happened after that? I was treated by a, a, an Ethiopian doctor. Ethiopian doctor. Yes. I was treated there. I was admitted and treated. Um, it was very difficult. I, I had problem with with the tear gas on my chest. It was burning. Yeah, right it was through clogging your chest. Yes. So I called Doctor At. Doctor At Lamine. Yes, the same night. Yes. I called him. Doctor At Lamine. And I told him I was in hospital and I had difficulty in breathing. breathing. Because yeah. my chest was full of Clogged tears. in tear gas. Mm. So Dr. A.T. brought, brought uh, medicine. Okay, medicine. Yes. To the Nazarene Hospital. To the Nazarene Hospital. Dr. A.T. Yes. Who has uh, medical practices in yes. Manzini. Yes, he's my doctor. Okay. So he brought me medicine. We, I, 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 he told me that the medicine would help me to take out the... To unclog. Yes. Yeah, unclog yeah, the yes, tear gas the chest, from the your chest, chest and your throat. Yes, I, I, I was treated and I was getting two injections in the morning, two injections last time, two injections in the evening at Nazarene. Nazarene Hospital? Yes, for two weeks. Wow. I was, I was given all, all that treatment. Amazing. But I again had to go to, to Dr. A.T. Dr. A.T., yes. the private medical practitioner yes, in Swaziland. Because he had very good medicine. Yeah. So the day I went to Dr. A.T. for the second time, two ladies from Amnesty International called. Amnesty International? Yes, when I was with Dr. A.T. They called me. They, they, they said they were in Manzini and they had come special to talk to me. Okay. So we went to Swaga office. Swaga office. Swaga office, yes. Okay. And I to, went to there. To do the interview they with told them. me they were at Swaga office. It was very difficult to walk. But I took a you taxi. could not walk. Yeah. I couldn't walk. I took a taxi. Because of the kickings on your legs. Yes. I took a taxi. In your back. From in your chest. From the Swazan Royal Police, they were kicking you. Yes, I took the taxi to the Swaka offices. When I arrived there, I found two ladies from Amnesty International. They stripped me. They took the, all the took photos. pictures. Yeah, of all the took wounds. Of all the wounds. My 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 my, my, my ribs were, were 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 broken. Broken ribs. Yeah, broken ribs. So they took pictures and um, they, they, they asked me questions. Can we, can we see the scars on your legs where you were kicked by the Royal Swazen Police? Okay. 
It's all, uh, all over. All over. I can see the scars. The scars are all over here. Mm. We can see the scars where they kicked you. Mm. They are still very visible today. This has happened a few years ago, but we can see the scars. Lift up. Let's see yes. the scars. So that uh, they see the scars where you were kicked by a Royal Swazden police. Okay. So, so, uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I, 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 I couldn't ha take a bath on my own. You up couldn't today, take a bath on your own. Up to today, I cannot. You struggle. Yeah. Coming out of the bathtub. Yes. To I, take I, a I, bath I, on your own. I, I need to help us. Yeah. To take a bath. Yeah. I cannot do it on my own. Yeah, because since, of the, since I was attacked by the, by by this police, you are almost handicapped. Yeah. Yes, I cannot have. I cannot take a bath on my own. Mm. I need assistance since I I I was attacked by by armed policemen. Swazen Royal Swazen Police. And then after after Amnesty International, three lawyers from Sadak mm. came. Sadak, okay. Yes, they also interviewed and they they they. they they, they recorded everything. Who is the one of the ladies of Swazi? Yes. From what I understand. Beatrice and Ted. Beatrice and Ted. Yes. She, she recorded the, you. She was, yes. She recorded everything. Okay, about yes. the case. Yeah, and the Amnesty International, they also recorded everything. And they took pictures of all the scars because it was still fresh. Yeah, all the injuries. Mm, all the injuries. They took okay. all the pictures. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. I just wanted you to tell your story to the international audience. What King Mswati and Prime Minister Banabas Bususo Lamini are doing in Swaziland and refusing uh, to admit some of the brutality that goes on in Swaziland. So I'm happy that you told your story yourself and I hope uh, this will shed light and expose the brutality in Swaziland that continues. Anybody that demands a just, fair, equitable nation in Swaziland, demands democracy, is arrested and brutalized in this fashion. So I just wanted for the record, you as my mother, I wanted you to tell your story. Thank you very much. I'm going to share this with the American leadership in America. I'm going to share it with everybody else that I can share this story with, so they understand what is going on in Swaziland. Thank you very much.